question is a hemispherical section is cut out from one face of a cubical block such that the diameter L of the hemisphere is equal to side length of the cube. Determine the surface area of the remaining solid. First we consider the given. Here uh, diameter of the hemisphere is given. That is equal to the side of the cube. Side of the cube is L. So the radius of the hemisphere we can take L by 2. Total surface of the remaining solid is equal to surface area of the cubical part plus curved surface area of the hemispherical part minus area of the base of the hemispherical part. This is the given picture. Here uh, hemispherical part is cut out from the cubical part. Then we have to remove the base area of the hemispherical part. So this is the total structure of the uh, remaining solid. So TC of the remaining solid that is total surface area of the remaining solid is equal to surface area of the cubical part plus CSA of the hemispherical part minus area of the base of the hemispherical part. Surface area of the cubical part is 6L square because uh, uh, hemispherical part is cut out from the one side of the cube. Uh, it is uh, given that diameter of the hemisphere uh, is uh, L. So the side of the cube is also L. So surface area of the cubical part is 6L square. CSA of the hemispherical part is 2 pi R square and area of base of the hemispherical part is minus pi R square. 2 pi R square minus pi R square is equal to pi R square. So we get 6L square plus pi R square. We substitute R square value as L by 2 because diameter is given as L. So R is equal to L by 2. Uh, expanding this equation, we get 6L square plus pi into L square by 4. Taking L square as a common, we get L square into 6 plus pi by 4. By taking LCM, we get L square into 24 plus pi by 4. This is the uh, total surface area of the remaining solid that is L square into 24 plus pi by 4 square unit.